Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? He's my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. Here's what you should be looking for here at the start of round number two. How much is Andre Bishop using that right hand? Because it appeared that he severely injured it, if not broke it there in that first round. Well, one of the things he has to do, Joe, is make sure that nobody other than us knows that he hurt that hand. He's got to go out there and not show his opponent that that's bothering him. Use the left hand. Maybe every once in a while, fake like you're going to throw the right hand so your opponent doesn't know, doesn't take advantage of that fact. Look at how much he's favoring things now. Utilizing the left hand much more. Andre Bishop not coming with that typical right hand power we're used to seeing. And you can see Andre Bishop in pain after throwing that right hand. That's a non-factor against Meldrick Johnson. Now you know why a lot of folks like this heavyweight version of Andre Bishop. Look at what he can do with that left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Meldrick Johnson. That's a good job. How about that left right there? Did you see that? What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy <laughs> good job with another left hand Andre Bishop is just going to do further damage by throwing the right hand the way he just did. Watch that! All right, you got to bring your hands up. You must bring your hands up. Right now, come on, relax. Relax, shake it out, shake it out. You got to relax. You got to move out there, right? Move, move, move. Come on, breathe. Johnson's got to hope that these 60 seconds are going to pay off for him here. Went down hard in that last round. He's got to gather himself because you know his opponent's going to come right after him when that bell rings. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss. Make him pay. Here's the bad news for Andre Bishop. He is not able to land that left hand, and that's all he has. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Andre Bishop. Scored well up top. Well, this is what pro fighters have to do. Find a way to fight through the pain. But if I'm Gus Parisi in that corner of Andre Bishop, I tell him to abandon the right hand and go out there and win it with your left. He comes back with the left hand again. That's a big flush punch landing on Andre Bishop. 
This is not the first time that Andre Bishop has been brought to this neighborhood. He has been shaken before. He will know what to do. Bishop's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Very nice work there. Jab, uppercut. <laughs> He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Nice strike after catching one by Meldrick Johnson. Right hand downstairs. How you doing? You okay? I need you to use your feet. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, let's go. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. You gotta get his respect. You gotta take it to him for a bit. Pick the speed up. And change up your punches. You need to take it to him this round and take this fight back, okay? Come on. Listen. Bishop's recovered nicely here. The start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round. A well-targeted jab that time. Bishop's speed to me, Teddy, is clearly the biggest difference we've seen so far tonight. Yeah, but there's ways to take away speed. One is to go downstairs to the body and start to discourage the guy a little bit. You know, take some of the air out of those sails. Just like that, just like that. Look at that, the hook came home with ease. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Like a sledgehammer, that move uppercut in, by Andre in. Bishop. <laughs> and there's the left hand working well for him again. Throws out the jab, and then brings back the uppercut up top. Bishop's doing really well on the outside. Double jab upstairs. We need to keep that head moving. And now another left. Johnson's hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about machoism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. Bishop's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Good combination the punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. There's another left hand from him, and this round comes to an end. Winning the rounds, man. You're not winning the rounds. I need you to start with your jab and then go on and go to the body. Go to the body. I want you to chop down with your right to the body. He's timing you coming in. He's timing you. How do you feel? Coming together, you start to find your range. That was good, much better. An interesting footnote to what we're seeing here tonight with Andre Bishop. We showed you the replay earlier where it appeared that he hurt his right hand in the okay. first round. The word we're getting is that those in the know say he actually had injured that hand during his prison stay. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Landing two jabs by Andre Bishop. Good job with another left hand. Comes across with a hook up top. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. Johnson's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. 
and it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction away from that punch. Andre Bishop's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. He comes back cover with the up, left cover hand up. again. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. And now he digs in with that hook to the body. Meldrick Johnson's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Combo lands to the head. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Lead him to the punch. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Andre Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. And round five comes to an end. Nice movement out there. Keep that up. Keep moving. Nice and relaxed. You're in control. Just keep that up. Stay away from those ropes. Just... Okay, okay, now just relax. You're gonna stick with the program, kid. Stick with the game plan. Here you go. How are we gonna get to the inside? The double jab, all right? I need to see that double jab. Jab to the body. As this fight continues, it's becoming obvious that Bishop is actually comfortable winning this fight just with that left hand. This is impressive stuff. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Johnson's now in a spot that many fighters have faced numerous times, and that is how do you deal with seeing your own blood and knowing that you have incurred some serious damage. Look at that cut around the eye. No, for a fighter to be able to move to the top, he's got to be tested in a lot of areas. Sometimes the test comes when he's hurt. He's hit on the chin. He's dropped for the first time. Sometimes the test comes when you drop the other guy and he gets up and he comes at you. And sometimes the test comes in the form of a cut. When you see your first blood, when you see it, that it's your blood, how do you behave? We're going to find out right now. And yet another right hand lands. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Johnson's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Good flush shot by Andre Bishop. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. It has been a very consistent night by Andre Bishop. He has built up a lead on the scorecards and nothing but good praise coming from trainer Gus Carissi. And he has such a cushion. Don't be shocked. It happens in this business, believe me. If his trainer doesn't tell him, you know what? Work with him a little bit. Don't get careless, but work on things. Carry him a little bit. Get some rounds. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Andre Bishop's got a little hop in his step as he's ready to start this round. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautifully. Well, Cus yeah. used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, 
when he's been in daddy's jab, That's when he's I been doing there. himself his jab, as you said, he's made a jab fest of this all night long. Two stabbing jabs by go. Andre Bishop. And now another left. Johnson's in bad shape, but he's doing the only thing he can at this point. He's tying up. Yeah, but what I'm a little surprised at, and I think what his opponent's going to pay a price for later on, he's letting him tie up. Oh, nice job by Andre Bishop there landing that jab. That's nice work by Bishop there landing the left hand. Move your head. Hooks on the a inside. stinging uppercut by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop not looking as fresh as when this fight started. I think he's slowing a bit, Teddy. But the bad news, that's not the worst news. The bad news is if we can see it, his opponent can see it, he can take advantage of it. Good biting, snapping shot by Andre Bishop. Bishop's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. There's another left hand from him. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Andre Bishop is damaging himself every time he throws that right hand. He is in serious pain. You watch this kind of an effort tonight by Andre Bishop, and you completely understand why his trainer, Gus Carisi, says the things he says about him. Yeah, and you understand why he thinks he will be a star. Not just a champion, but a guy who will draw crowds. And I'm not surprised, or at least I wouldn't be surprised if he's not in the corner right now telling him, go out there and close the show. When he misses with a punch, counter. Final round for Andre Bishop in a fight that's really been a walk through the park with how supremely skilled he is. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old cats with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your old. Bishop's controlling this fight right now, and there's one main reason, his jab. Now, he's an inside fighter but his jab has been the reason he's had success. Yeah, it's been successful on the outside with that jab, controlling range, controlling everything, and it's allowed him to get to the places you just alluded to on the inside in a safe way. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. Good job with another left hand. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Headshot lands out. was a hook. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Johnson's ripped by an uppercut. Nice, good, quick jabs by Andre Bishop. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. He comes back with the left hand again. Scored well up top. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious here, Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, that you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer.